There's no doubt about it, Mercedes-Benz have made terrific inroads into the UK track tuning market, particularly with this vehicle, the latest generation Actros. But one area of potential growth for them is the multi-wheeler sector, and for that, they have a new beastie. It's this, the Arox. The Arox continues a 100-year-old tradition of Mercedes-Benz construction vehicles. It's newly designed from the ground up to provide reliable, high torque matched to flexible driver configurations. Before we get into the cab, this is it's an eight-wheeler. It's an off-road vehicle. It's, a more, it's as much about the chassis as it is about the cab. So let's have a quick look round it, first of all. At the front, you'll see some protection and a bull bar. And then here we've got the light protection as well. Carrying on down, we've got a flexible lower step, but of course you're always going to get little, when you're going off-road, little knocks and prangs. So again, trying to reduce the servicing and uh, operating costs as well. Looking on here, we've got two 7.1 ton front axles uh, on steel suspension as well. So front and second axle are 7.1 tons. Body-wise, we've got an Abba Commercials Predator Ultimate tipping body here with Hyver doing the tipping gear itself. And then moving along, we've got an Ab Blue tank. Obviously, this vehicle is Euro 6, the latest generation. And it's linked to a 290 litre fuel tank you can see here there's plenty of room for larger tanks which are available as well and then if we move on to the rear bogey it's a 19 ton rear bogey obviously nine and a half tons on each on steel suspension earth suspension is available and they're sat on 295 80 22.5 tires when we look at the back we've got some hefty anti-roll bar you can see they're linked to the shock absorbers we can also see that the brake chambers are mounted high out out of the way when you're going off road and talking about going off-road, we've got clearance of around about 250 to 300 millimetres, exactly what you want for an 8 before. Well, as you sit in the cab, it's a typical 8 before cab. What do you expect? It's functional. And that's exactly what drivers want. A suspended seat here, tackles at the top, at right-hand corner, overhead. Everything's at hand. It's got a reasonably high engine tunnel here. I think it's about 320 mil. Nice driving environment for an 8 before. What's the most important thing as far as I'm concerned in a truck? It's your seat, air suspended seat, standard, and this is heated as well, very comfortable. Really good lumbar support at the back there, and that's a key area nowadays. Getting in and out of the cab, you've got to make sure that you're comfortable once you're in there, and certainly it fits the bill, no problem whatsoever. We've got 390 brake horsepower on there, well, nigh 400 horsepower out of the 10.7 litre engine. As far as torque's concerned, you're looking at about 1,900 newton metres, in theory, it kicks in at around about nine, 900 revs, but to be honest, when you lug it down, you can tell it goes to about 850 and she's still all right. We're doing our steady, what, 47 miles an hour here, and we're well within the, the green zone. We're at 1,200 revs, so good economy for a vehicle. This single uh, carriageways, dual carriageways, this is typical eight-wheeler territory. We're not going to see many eight-wheelers on the motorways. This is where it lives, in this 40, 50 mile an hour sector. So you really want the fuel economy to be a little bit lower down when you're doing that. And this is exactly what happens with this 12-speed uh, gearbox. As far as visibility is concerned, can't complain at all. You've got your class five and class six mirrors, and the mirrors we've got here on the left hand side and right hand side are perfect for seeing. Nice, good, big size mirrors. And then when it comes to sound, well, there's nothing to hear. The only noise you're gonna get is the wind noise from the mirrors. Talk to people in the cab, just at standard volume, no problem whatsoever. Instrument panel, on the right we've got the rev counter, real big rev counter as well. Uh, the one thing I would say though is we've got the KPH is a little bit easier to see than the MPH. Looking inside the LCD panel, it tells me what's happening in terms of what gear I'm in and more importantly if I stick it into Eco Drive, it tells me a little bit about coaching on my driving system. Then at the side of us here we've got the heating ventilation system, we've also got it's got air conditioning here as well and it's easy to get to, that's what I like about it, you don't have to take your eyes off too much off the road to control that. You've obviously got your Bluetooth systems which are obviously legislation required and we've got the little parking brake here, very very handy indeed and then down at the side of us here we've got the interaxle and interwheel diff locks. Everything just, just at hand, it's perfect. 
I've got a three stage engine braking. You're talking anything between 275 up to 400 kilowatts in terms of braking. On the TRC, which is a turbo retarder clutch, I can go up to 720 uh, kilowatts. But around this high performance one, it's around about the 425 kilowatt area. More importantly, you're not using the service brakes. Therefore, for you service guys, maintenance ones, you're not using the disc pads and therefore helping to save a little bit more money. Now, the one thing you do need in a tipper with the wet weather we have is plenty of storage and also storage for the wet stuff as well. You've got storage underneath the seats on the left hand side, the passenger seat. You can access that outside, but also more importantly, you can also access it inside as well. Plenty of storage above you as well. And then as an extra at the side of us here, we've got a little cubby hole, great for putting your delivery notes in or your delivery sheets, that sort of thing. And there we have it, the Arox 3240, almost 400 horsepower, matched to a very smooth 12-speed gearbox that makes driving a pleasure. Now, if you match this to the Mercedes-Benz fuel economy systems that they run throughout the heavy truck range, then I would say if you're an 8x4 user, then the Arox should be on your shortlist. <music>